seven, and the Bengals claiming the ball came loose. Still waiting on a signal. None yet. The Bengals take over. Herschel Walker coughed it up. Well, you have Herschel Walker leading for Vaughn Hebron. The next play, they give it to Herschel. And as you saw the official signal, the ball did come loose, and the Bengals recover it. That's the Philadelphia Eagles' first turnover of the afternoon. So Cincinnati trailing 20 to 10 will take over with 12.05 to play here in the third. Well, you wonder why Herschel Walker fumbled a moment ago? Here is why. We saw some of our crew earlier. Again, our crew involved in giving us those great sounds. Not only fumbling, but probably why he has that Band-Aid on his nose. <laughs> First and ten, Blake thought about it. Kept the football. And he's out across the ten. Leonard Renfro. On the tackle, but for a moment as though uh, Blake almost drew a face mask call. Yep, Leonard Renfro stuck his arm out, and it appeared he grabbed him right around the collar, almost grabbing the face mask, but he did get away from that. Anthony brought up earlier, Blake hit three of his first four in the game for 74 yards, and as you see there, offensively for the Bengals, very little since the opening quarter. Blake and intercepted by Michael Zornich. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Third interception of the game delivered by Jeff Blake. And Zornich is in for his first touchdown this season. Not only his first touchdown, but his fourth interception of the season. Right there, you see Blake looking up at the screen as a lot of players do after a play is made. You see Zordich running off the field. You see right here, he's sitting right back there just kind of looking things over. He kind of drops back. He sees Darnay Scott right there, and all of a sudden he makes a nice break for the ball. Right in his own area, he sees the ball coming, and he goes down, but he gets up, and he gets six points after picking that one off. Blake has had three interceptions thrown, his last seven passing attempts. Zordich, his third career touchdown. Blake and the Bengals in big-time trouble. Part of our audio crew, Bobby and Mark, done a great job all season long, still uh, booing and eyeing about some of the sounds we've heard all season long. Philadelphia in front, 27 to 10. Jeff Hill cuts it back the other way. And he leaps into the air out to the 35. Derek Frazier tripped him up. Right now, for a McDonald's game break, let's go to Hollywood and James Brown. All right, Tom, Dallas obviously fired up in the second half on the punt return. Kevin Williams making some nice moves, gaping holes, heads downfield, 52 yards just inside the 15. That set up a one-yard touchdown run by Blair Thomas. It's all tied in the third at 10. Let's take it back to two guys who are home in Cincinnati, Tom and Anthony. Thank you very much, J.B. It's always wonderful to get home for the holidays. Thank David Hill and Ed Gord for that. There you go, Harold. To the 42 is Harold Green before he's met by Eric Allen. Well, you mentioned the, the three interceptions in the last seven passes for Je Jeff Blake. They come out and toss the ball to Harold Green. Nice gain on that one. Right there as we look at David Shula, the head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals. Shula in his third year, 10 wins, 37 losses. Second and two, Green again. Good enough for the first down as he's out to the 48. Now the last four seasons since the playoff berth in 1990 under Sam Weish, things have gone steadily downhill. Weish being replaced by Shula prior to 92. Well, you look at it, three wins for Sam in his last year, but since then for David Shula, 10 wins. And the 2-13 and 13 record, if they lose today, that could be a franchise low of two wins for a season. Back 
to the ground. Jeff Cochran, the rookie from right here in Cincinnati. There are a lot of native Cincinnatians playing in this game here today. You have Cothran. You also have Brian O'Neill. Talked about him earlier for Philadelphia. Another Cincinnati player, Jeff Hill, who returned that kickoff a moment ago. Grew up just outside Cincinnati. It's good football country here. It really is, and I had a chance when I was playing to do about six years of high school football and radio. And I tell you, not only in the Cincinnati area, but across the river in, in northern Kentucky, did a lot of great games. Play fake, and Jeff Blake got mashed as he let it fly by Michael Zordich. We'll call his name again and again and again. It's obvious that the, the Eagles defensively are doing a super job. But you look at this Bengal offense, and you have to start thinking about how can they become a more productive offense. As you see right here, a little, they call it a boot naked, where they fake the run to the left, and Blake comes out to the right. But once again, Michael Zordich right there to, to take him down just after he makes a throw. And I think two areas that the Bengals have to address this offseason is one, the running back position, and another, the offensive line. Third and three. And they go behind the offensive line with Jeff Cothran, and he is shy of the first down. And you figure trailing 27-10, they'll have to go. A couple of Bengals being carted off the field. Number 83, David Frisch. And didn't get a look at the other Cincinnati Bengal. Fernandez Vinson, I believe, number 34, defensive uh, secondary player. Both being carted in. Usually that means uh, into the x-ray room. Take a few x-rays. Check out the injury that both guys uh, have suffered here in this ballgame. Bengals a yard short, and they'll go fourth and one. Well, it's obvious, Tom, that this time the Bengals have gotten the ball. They've come out and said, we're not going to give Jeff Blake an opportunity to make a mistake. They've run the ball every time. They've been able to move the ball here. Told you earlier, coming into the game today, Blake, the only AFC quarterback with twice as many touchdowns as interception. However, he has been intercepted three times here today with one touchdown. Fourth and less than a yard. And Blake... Goes around the right end to the 31st down, Cincinnati. He faked everybody in the entire stadium out. Including me. And me. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> I was looking right here as you see him turn. They have Rich Braham in the backfield as a fullback. He turns and fakes the handoff. And all of a sudden, he comes out running around that right side. Right there, nice fake. So Jeff Cothran, all of a sudden he comes up with the ball. I was watching to see if he made the first down or not. All of a sudden I thought, man, that's a heck of a fake by uh, Jeff Blake. He's still running. 14-yard gain. Sadowski in motion. Green trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, and he is wrapped up immediately by Britt Hager. Hager last season took over for Byron Evans when he broke his arm and then Earlier this year, Byron Evans uh, breaking his right leg. He had ligament damage, cartilage damage, and Byron Evans was off to his best season in the NFL. Before that injury, leading the team with 80 tackles. With all that, oh, man, he tore just about everything in that knee. And it goes hand-in-hand uh, hand with what we talked about earlier under Rich Kotite. Another one of his top players out. <laughs> They didn't get it off in time. So on a second and 13, the Bengals will be backed up. Play a game. Offense, five yards, still second down. Boy, that Cincinnati team, a lot of holes. Yep, and when things are uh, going bad, they continue. Talked about earlier, some of the holes they have to fill. You know, we talk about Darnay Scott and Carl Pickens out in the perimeter as far as wide receivers. A couple young, 
Carl Pickens not old. He's a young wide receiver. I think they're set there, maybe get a little depth there. But as I mentioned earlier, the lack of running game really puts pressure on the quarterback and the wide receivers, and that's what they have to address. Blake trying to make something happen. Dumps it off to a wide open. Harold Green, and he's down to the 12. First down, Cincinnati trailing 27-10 with 6.40 left to go here in the third quarter, a 26-yard pickup. Right there, Jeff Blake showed some excellent patience, just waiting, waiting, as the rush was almost there, but a nice play by the offensive line taking the rush around Jeff Blake, and all of a sudden he hits Harold Green, who's being covered by Brett Hager for a nice pickup. Good patience once again by Jeff Blake. Ball spotted at the 12. Green. And that's the Harold Green they watched in Cincinnati in 1992 when he rushed for the second most yards in a season in franchise history, second only to the 89 year of James Brooks. And Green went to the Pro Bowl. They've heard very little from him after a holdout in 93 ever since. You know, Tom, a lot of other things factor into the lack of running game, too. When you have three backs, as they do, with, with Fenner and Harold Green, of course, Steve Broussard's out now. But you really can't get one back the ball. All I mean, get them into consistency, get them into rhythm, and that goes hand-in-hand -hand with the offensive line blocking also. Green to the goal line. Touchdown. Cincinnati has climbed back in it. 27-16 with the point after upcoming. Well, they must have heard us talking about it. As you see Harold Green, the lone back. You see Troy Sadowski coming over and making a nice block on William Thomas. And then Harold Green just runs right through Eric, Eric Allen with Carl Pickens also making a nice block. But again, as we talked about the lack of running game, they just march right down the field, running the football, 4-6. Doug Pelfrey adds the extra point. And with 5.32 to play here in the third quarter from Riverfront, Harold Green and the Bengals trailing Philadelphia 27-17. And all the great replays all season long. They've done a super job. And Tom, we got a report on Fernandez Vincent. And David Frisch, the two players we saw being carted off. Vincent, left ankle, return is questionable. Where David Frisch, the big tight end, left knee, he's out. See the scoring drive. Jeff Blake able to complete a, or rather able to run for 14 yards. On fourth and inches to continue the drive. Green goes in for the touchdown. Hebron. So it's a big hit from Jeff Cotron. First and 10, Philadelphia from its own 25. Well, the Bengal offense has stepped in there, scored a touchdown. Now the defense has to step it up. Eagles have been on a roll, scoring a few points. The last thing you need when a football team takes the ball and they sustain a drive and they score some points, you want to keep that momentum going. You want your defense to now take the field. And you want to shut down the opposing offense. You don't want to have your offense sit too long after they just put together a nice drive as they did. Brister gets it away. Lost the yard. On the reception to James Joseph. Good play by the free safety, Daryl Williams. Well, tomorrow at 8, 7 Central, if you're tired of watching shows about families that are too good to be true, then spend Christmas with Anthony's buddies and buddies, the Bundys, for another outrageous episode of Married with Children, followed by a brand new episode of the George Carlin Show tomorrow night on Fox. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. You're calling this guy, these people, my friends. Correct me if I'm wrong. You tape all these shows. You have them all at home. I'm out there in Hollywood, you know, <laughs> hanging with all those folks. <laughs> Sure. Second and ten. Hebron maybe got a yard. Coming up to put on the big hit, Steve Tovar, second-year backer out of Ohio State. 
Tovar was acquired with a draft pick in the Boomer Esiason trade with the New York Jets a couple of years ago. And it turned out to be a pretty good pick for the Bengals. As you talked about him, he's there 